I usually get the same response from Globus when I tell them it's relative density. But why? Tell me why does it go down and not up? If the air is less dense above, why is it going down and not up? Hi, Flatswood here. Lately I've been getting a lot of questions asked by the Globe believers on if it's relative density disequilibrium. Why does it go down and not up? The usual response I get is why is it not going up because according to relative density it falls through the less dense medium and there's less dense higher up so it's supposed to be going up further. Well I'm going to try and explain it to you why it's going down and not up. And also for the new people that you don't understand what RDD is, relative density is equal to room, stick around. I hope I'm going to explain it in simple terms that you'll be able to understand what the concept is and how it works. Well, first we have to start with what do we see in reality? Everything we see has foundations. Where is the foundation situated? Every tree has foundation, its roots. Every building has foundation at the bottom. Every rock foundation, everything has a foundation. And that foundation is at its core at the bottom. This foundation is very important as this is the static equilibrium point of the object. I hear you saying, hold on, what is static equilibrium? Well, put it simple, static equilibrium is just the place where the object sits in static motion. In other words, it's where the foundation is holding it and supporting it enough that it doesn't move anywhere. Okay, now that the foundation is sorted out, let's move on to what is RDD, Relative Density Disequilibrium. Well, first you have to need to know, if something is denser, it will sink, it would go down because the medium around it cannot support it. If it is less dense, it's going to go up because the medium around it will support it. This is caused by a pressure which will push it up. This is why you get the separations when it comes to a density tower. It's simply the denser is at the bottom and the less dense at the top. So it sorts itself out due to its densities. Okay, let's use the example of this guy. We shall call him Mike. Mike's wrench is lying on the ground. Mike, would you please walk up to your wrench and pick it up for us? Thank you, Mike. Mike has just picked up the wrench. Did he just dispense energy to pick it up? Yes, he's got energy transferred into that wrench. Therefore, the, the wrench now has potential energy and as soon as he's going to let it go, it's going to release it and become kinetic energy. Now that we understand that it's got potential energy stored in that wrench and the foundation is at its equilibrium point, why do you think it would have to go up? You would have to dispense more energy to let it fall up instead of down. So in short, that wrench has the potential energy and has to be released into kinetic energy. Therefore it's going to back to its original point, which is equilibrium point, which is the foundation, and therefore goes down. Well, I hope I've made it clearer for you to understand why it would rather go down instead of up. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please do leave a comment down below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Till next time, God bless.